segment is sponsored by the Science Museum of Virginia. We're back at the Dome at the Science Museum of Virginia with Immersive Experience Specialist Justin Bartle. It's great to see you again. Yeah, good to see you. Tis the season to come to the Dome. This is a really, really cool asset for our city, for our region. And when you have company in town, or maybe if you haven't been out in a while, it's definitely something to show off and see. Oh, definitely. We can do things here that you aren't going to see in many other places in the world. It's unique in many aspects, really. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, one of the most technologically advanced spaces uh, that we've got in the country. Some really large format uh, shows being shown here over the holiday season. We'll talk about those in a minute, but it's well known for cosmic expeditions, and this is kind of your That's area right. of specialty. Yeah, so uh, we can travel just about anywhere you want to go in the universe, uh, see any planets or moons, and, and we try and really stay on the cutting edge of, of research. You're showing some um, pieces over the holiday season, uh, a new one that's part of the Cosmic Expedition series. Yeah, yeah we've got a new show called Planet Nine that, uh, that, that really is right on the cutting edge. That's earlier this year, a potential new planet in the solar system was announced. We've already got a show all about it, detailing the search and how astronomers are, are trying to track it down. Justin, it sounds kind of like high level. If you're watching right now and you think, well, I'm not necessarily into cosmic expeditions, is it something that's approachable for everyone? Oh, definitely. Uh, we've got a presenter here with you during the whole show, uh, working you through it. And I think the great thing about this show is we actually get an interview with one of the astronomers involved in the search. Uh, he's, uh, he's great at, at taking you through it too. Um, he teaches you everything you need to know about the outer solar system. And then when you have questions, it makes it super approachable. Exactly, yeah, we're right here in the back. We'll take questions at the end. That's a pretty quick turnaround to have a show dedicated to that so fast. Yeah, a lot of times these kinds of productions take a couple of years to get out there. So we've, we've got it in just a few months. Justin, this is really neat for you because you get to put this out there for the community to enjoy, for folks to come in. And every time it's a world of discovery. What is that like for you? Oh, man, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a really unique experience and it's, it's wonderful to have people come uh, at the end of the show and uh, ask these questions I've never heard before. So it's, it's a way for me to keep learning too. And from little to little at heart? Oh sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, the whole, whole age range, everybody uh, seems to be having a good time with the show. Justin, let's get into the nitty gritty. This is super impressive and you've got some stats to back it up. Oh sure, the screen that we use here is about the size of two and a half basketball courts and we can fill the entire thing with images and video. It's pretty unique too. Yeah, it's uh, the largest uh, all digital theater uh, that we know of in the country. Amazing to see pieces on this kind of a screen because you really can't see it anywhere else. Yeah, and it's super high resolution also. It's uh, better than any TV you get at home. So maybe you're not ready to head to the stars on a cosmic expedition, but you definitely can be have your mind boggled by the tech specs here at the Dome. That's right. There are those larger format productions coming over the holidays too, because if you're maybe not going to do the Cosmic Expeditions, you can come and see the shows. What's on tap this season? We've got a couple of other offerings. We have National Parks Adventure, which takes you through the country, sees the, sees the national parks. And we've got a show called Great White Sharks, which as you can imagine, about sharks. And uh, then uh, Flight of the Butterflies, which tracks the migration of monarch butterflies. Any and all three of those are completely magical to see. I saw Great White Sharks when it was here the last time, so I would imagine a lot of folks who have seen those pieces maybe want to come to see them again because there's so much to see. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a really great experience. The Great White Sharks was super, super impressive. I'm going to have to bring the girls because the butterflies just must be something to behold in this kind of large format. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. They did some, some great camera work with that one going to be a lot of fun over the holiday season here at the Dome at the Science Museum of Virginia. Make sure you come to check it out. I know you love showing this space off. Oh yeah, I like to really stretch the, the possibilities of what the software can do. So. I, I just landed a good pun to <laughs> show off this space. Thanks right. for having us out. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Come out and check it out, the Dome at the Science Museum of Virginia. The Science Museum of Virginia is right down the street from the station here, 2500 West Broad Street in Richmond. Planet Nine is currently showing at The Dome. Plan your visit by going to smv.org. You can also learn more by calling 864-1400.